What's up team and welcome back to God Mouth. We are back with my perfect heavyweight t-shirt series where I take heavyweight t-shirts from popular brands, review them and compare them across each episode. Last week we reviewed the Guild and Hammer tee and we found out if it lived up to its hammer name. This week we're taking a look at the Amazon.com Funny World 7.8 ounce heavyweight men's cotton t-shirt. Now this t-shirt is extremely similar to the other ones we've reviewed in the past, but with one defining characteristic that sets it apart from every other t-shirt I've ever seen. Enough talk! Let's get to the review. And here is the Funny World branded men's 7.8 ounce 100% cotton crew neck t-shirt from Amazon.com. First order of business, let me show you guys what it looks like on me. For reference, I'm 5'9 and about 165 pounds and I consider myself a lean build. I'm not necessarily muscular, but I'm not overly skinny either. So I bought this t-shirt from Amazon.com and I bought it in a medium and a large. It was while I was doing research for this series and I was looking up different heavyweight t-shirts, I stumbled upon Amazon.com and I stumbled upon a brand that I had never heard of and I thought the name was pretty funny, but I was curious because it advertised an almost 8 ounce 100% cotton t-shirt. That brand, you guessed it, was this t-shirt, Funny World, Funny World. Funny name, funny brand. So I picked one up. Actually, I picked two up. I picked a medium and a large. I wasn't sure if this t-shirt would shrink. And let me tell you, I sure am glad I picked up the large. So you guys might be wondering, which t-shirt did I keep and which t-shirt did I return? Well, I'll give you guys a little secret. This is the large. And I'll explain why I kept the large later. First, let's take a look at the features. Here's the collar. Very nice laid collar. It's a tighter collar than the other two t-shirts we've reviewed, the Gildan and the Hanes, and I like that. We have the shoulders, right? This is similar to the Gildan, right above the curvature of my shoulder is where this hits. Here's the sleeves. Shorter sleeves than the Gildan, even shorter than that. The chest, snug but not tight. And the body. This is where my belt hits. So it's just a few inches below that. Now, I told you guys earlier that I got the medium and the large, and I told you I kept the large. Here's why. These shirts shrink quite a bit. Now I took some pictures of the medium and the large before I washed them. I'll try and see if I can insert them somewhere up in here so you guys can take a look at the difference before and then after. Just so you know, these t-shirts were washed in the same wash and dry cycle as the Hanes BPT, and the Guild and Hammer tee that we reviewed before, so there was no difference in the wash and dry cycle for this t-shirt. Now as you saw, the large fit me differently than it does right now. The length of the large was longer, the length of the sleeves were longer, and the body was all around a little bit looser than what it is right now. The fit of the large post-wash is like the fit of the medium pre-wash. Now here's the difference, and you guys might see it, you guys might not. You have the length and you have the sleeves that are the size of the medium. So they shrunk to the medium size. This is what I felt when I tried on the medium when I first got the t-shirt. But the width of the shoulders, the width of the chest, and the width of the body remained relatively larger than the medium even though it's smaller than the large. Are you guys following me? If not, I'll tell you what happened. Basically, it took the width of the large but the length of the medium, which I actually prefer. I like that. Now with the shrinking of the large, it did shrink down to the medium. So the sleeves are a little bit shorter, maybe a little bit shorter than I'd like. I'm not quite sure yet. I don't mind them, but as you see, they do jet out just a little bit. And then you have the body of the t-shirt, which was quite a bit longer before. Now it's at the size of the medium. I don't mind it. I actually quite like it. Now if I stuck with the medium and I washed and dried it, that t-shirt would absolutely be unwearable. If you're anywhere in between sizes, 
size up, wash and dry it just like you would a normal t-shirt, let it shrink as much as it needs to. Now in the beginning of the video, I told you guys about one unique defining characteristic of this t-shirt that none of the other t-shirts I've tried on have had. And that is an extremely soft exterior. Now I told you guys the Hanes and the Gildan are soft and what I mean by that is they're soft for their heavy weight. They're not scratchy, they're not all uncomfortable to wear, they're soft for that heavy weight and for that brand. This t-shirt is soft as in the meaning of soft, like velvet. If you've touched velvet, it feels like a velvet or like a nubuck or like a suede. It's extremely soft and it's unbelievable how they made this t-shirt have this type of feeling on the exterior. Now this t-shirt on the exterior feels super soft. On the interior, it is a different type of feeling. It's not as soft, it's still soft. I'd equate it more to like the Hanes Beefy Tee or the Gildan Hammer type of soft on the interior. And then you have the velvet or you have the satin or the suede type of feeling on the exterior. There is one downside to the extremely soft feeling fabric of this t-shirt is it advertises a 7.8 ounce weight, almost in eight ounce, but it surely doesn't feel like it. Because it's so soft and because it lost some of that heavyweight feel, it feels like a six ounce t-shirt. Now, let me tell you, it's still hefty, it's still thick, it's still hot. Now, would I recommend this t-shirt? Absolutely. If you're looking for a t-shirt that is unlike many, many, many other t-shirts you've seen all around, this is the one for you. It's unique, it feels soft. People touch it and they're gonna be like, ooh, where'd you get that? Another thing is this t-shirt is less than $15 on Amazon.com. I'm sure the price ranges up and down, but I haven't seen it go above $15. I've only seen it below. Don't forget, unless you like your t-shirts fitting tight, I would recommend sizing up. Now this t-shirt is a 7.8 ounce, 100% cotton t-shirt. You can find it on Amazon.com. The link will be in the description, of course. It's a crew neck t-shirt in white, which is the kind I got. You can also get black, I believe gray, and navy color as well. Thanks for watching my review of the Funny World Men's 100% Cotton 7.8 ounce Heavyweight T-Shirt. Don't forget, I upload videos every Sunday and every Wednesday and occasionally on Friday. If you missed any of my past videos, feel free to check out the channel. You can see the other videos in this series. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, drop them in the comment section below. Hit that notification bell right up there so you don't miss any videos that I come out with in the future. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at thatguymaverick. Check out my website, www.guymaverick.com for more information regarding the reviews. We upload every Sunday, every Wednesday, and occasionally on Fridays. Once again, I'm Eric, founder of guymaverick.com and the Guy Maverick YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you guys again soon, and don't forget, don't be afraid to be different. See you guys next time.